allow one more minute for people to log on. Friends from coast to coast, I give thanks for your participation in our first ever SENT virtual seminar. Uh, it is one skill that social entrepreneurs, and I would even say local churches must learn to do, and that's what it means to pivot. Our initial plan for this seminar, we would, we would have been gathered in Philadelphia in person with a small group of social entrepreneurs and some other uh, ministries that are doing innovative work. But of course the pandemic happened and we had to learn how to pivot. And I am definitely uh, enriched by the process of pivoting, what we've learned and how we were able to broaden our invitation and enrich our conversation by inviting new voices into seminars. So just wanna give thanks for that. As a way of closing, we're going to be brief today, but as a way of closing, our overarching theme was of faith and social impact. We heard uh, some great presentations, some great opening sessions around faith and social impact and God's economy and even have witnessed some practitioners who are doing the work of social enterprise. We must be clear that in this work of social entrepreneurship engaging our faith, even in local congregations to have an impact. But we're not just doing this just to be doing this. We do this for a reason. We have a vision in mind, a vision for what the world could be. So I wanna invite you now, because it's important for us to, to speak aloud in community, even if it's just typing. What is God's dream for the world? You would put that in the chat. What is God's dream for the world? So we articulate that dream, those elements, how it looks, then that also helps us position ourselves for our next steps into living into God's dream for the world. If anybody should have a vision for God's dream for the world, it ought to be those who follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Give you a moment to enter some things into the chat. Allow these words to wash over you remind you, maybe even realign you how you show up in the world. Equity, racial reconciliation, shalom for God's people, peaceful engagement, wholeness, enough that all will have enough to thrive. Wholeness, reconciliation, the great bank, the great banquet where all are welcome and fed. May it be so. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> May that continue to be the why behind what we do. Um, we want to just offer a handful of announcements, uh, a great deal of gratitude uh, to each of you, um, and then we will send you out and one of our first announcements is we just want to encourage you to um, to utilize Blackboard fully. Um, those resources posted there, the handouts, materials, slideshows, um, the, the recorded video presentations, 
uh, we encourage you to utilize those and then to also engage with each other. Um, one of the things we were discussing in our previous session was just how important it is to know as we go into the world and do this work that it can it can wear on us and, and that it is important to know that we're not alone. And so we really encourage you to interact with each other to create some, some brain dates and some peer led uh, discussion groups and um, to just engage with each other on that uh, forum. Uh, we also wanna repost the um, link to MBA's resource bank I'll put that here in the chat function. Um, but take advantage of these resources. If you have questions, if there's a subject or a, <clears throat> um, you know, a question that you have, we encourage you to just take advantage of these resources to reach out to us um, as you continue to do this important work. So this time together serves as somewhat of an appetizer an appetizer for social entrepreneurs to see the ways in which MBA's social entrepreneurship program is committed to equipping and encouraging social enterprise led by disciples. It's also an opportunity to give uh, non-social entrepreneurs, but disciples an opportunity to learn more about the work of social enterprise. So it is our hope that those who are social, social entrepreneurs or have an idea are really feel called to do a certain work in the world that they would apply, that you would apply to be a part of our SENT 2020-2021 cohort. This is a 12 month journey and this is one that uh, when you apply, you must reflect on the question, do I have the capacity to give to this process? This is a formative process. This is something that we wanna make sure anyone who applies has a 12 month commitment in mind to really open themselves up and uh, prioritize uh, time to be able to put into their project. It takes work. So uh, we would invite you to apply. We would invite those who may know someone in your local congregation, in your region who has been doing something and maybe has felt like they needed some support, some nourishment, uh, to invite them also to apply. So we look forward to receiving applications into October. And that link again is posted in the chat function. <clears throat> um, and then for those of you who this subject of social entrepreneurship and, and faith rooted social impact work, um, maybe you're just dipping your toe into this and this has been a new, uh, a new subject, a new idea for you um, that social enterprise might be gospel work. Um, we want to, to take this conversation further with you all. Um, and so we want to invite those of you um, not doing the work of social enterprise at this time, but you're interested in just learning more and, and taking this conversation further. Um, we will have a bit of a, a debrief. Um, this will be via Zoom. And this is going to be the Wednesday of September 30th in, in the evening at 6 p.m. Central. It'll be one hour. It'll just be a conversation, um, more dialogue about what it looks like um, to, to have the church pivot, um, to start doing the work of, of social impact um, in the church um, and with the church. And so we, we invite you to... Uh, keep that in your mind, keep that on your calendars. We'll send out an email uh, with more information and we'll reach out to you on that front. And if you're like me and you've attended a virtual seminar for some time, uh, you don't want to immediately have to do a survey. You wanna let your mind breathe for a moment. So we're not going to bombard you in this moment with a survey, but we know that in the next week you will receive a survey via email. Your feedback is important as this is our first time hosting a virtual SENT seminar. We also want to hear back on uh, what, what was missing or what could have been more helpful to you as we want to always make sure that uh, we're meeting the needs of those who uh, engage our program. And lastly, we just want to say thank you. Um, there's a lot of buildup 
uh, to this these three days. Um, thank you to Will Sinclair and to Amanda Hunt, um, who have been working behind the scenes quite a bit on the tech front and just putting us at ease and, and doing so much for us um, with the technology. Thank you to many of the MBA staff for the the work and the encouragement behind the scenes as we've prepared. We've appreciated your words of encouragement so much. And then thank you to you as participants. Um, we recognize that this was a time commitment and, and a luxury of that a lot of people don't have to just push pause on work and life and family um, and just really commit to three whole days of, of sitting in front of a screen. And so we pray um, that the time and the engagement and the conversation has been formative, that it has been challenging, that it has been inspiring, um, and that you feel emboldened to, to go into the world and into your context um, and, and create good and do good, um, because that is what we are called to do. Um, so thank you for your time and thank you for your participation and for your feedback, um, especially with that survey next week. It was a joy to, to interact with each of you and we're just deeply grateful. I echo that. Thanks to all of MBA's teams, leadership team, finance team, marketing team, program team, every team, every person who's connected to MBA. You uh, made this moment possible, whether it was encouraging words or actively helping in the planning process. We couldn't have done this without you. I want to thank Ashley, my colleague, for uh, journeying this journey with me and making sure that uh, all the logistical things were in place to make this possible. You have been a gem, so I appreciate you. Uh, and as a closing thought, just a closing thought, I would say, uh, James Ball, one of my favorite writers, says in 1968 at the World Council of Churches when he attended and, and uh, as a substitute speaker for MLK after his assassination earlier that spring. He says these words, the church is in great danger when it knows what it needs to do, but doesn't do it. Church is in great danger when it knows what it needs to do, but does not do it. Friends, may God bless and strengthen our doing for the world needs us. May we go with those words. May God bless our doing for the world needs us. Amen.